haven't seen you in a while How have you been? Have you changed your style? And do you think So let's leave it alone Cause we can't see eye to eye There ain't no good guy There ain't no bad guy There's only you and me And we just disagree disagree hello there welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review I've taken a bit of heat from some fans of the pilot Metropolitan for saying that I think the pen sucks that's right it sucks I humbly apologize the imputation was totally without basis in fact and was in no way fair comment and was motivated purely by malice and I deeply regret any distress that my comments may have caused you or your family and I hereby undertake not to repeat any such slander at any time in the future. All fountain pens suck if they work properly but writing with a fountain pen is very subjective. If you hold your fountain pen like Mongo, hey, Mongo. Sign please. You're likely to prefer pens that don't especially float my particular boat. However, I don't just trash a pen without offering alternatives. The Pilot Metro is often recommended as a great entry-level fountain pen for beginners. In my video, Pilot Metro WTF, which stands for Why the Fuss? I offered what I think is a better alternative entry-level fountain pen for beginners from Pilot, the Pilot Explorer. But today I have a Pilot Pen that might just change that opinion. This Pilot Prera. I've wanted to try this model Pilot for a long time and now I have one in my hands. So find out if this Pilot Prera is, in my personal subjective opinion, sorry, better than a Pilot Metro. Spoiler alert, it is. And better than my beloved Pilot Explorer right now. <laughs> So the level of care and attention to detail uh, from our postal services and our packaging delivery services lately seem to be just going up exponentially. I'm just uh, overwhelmed with the amount of care and attention to detail and, uh, and packaging ability of shipping things around the globe. I know that you concur. Can you feel the level of sarcasm rising? <laughs> because look what I just got. Isn't this lovely? Uh, you can actually see the package. It helps when I put on the front light. There, you can see it. It has Chinese writing. What could this be? Let's see. It's uh, certainly been crushed beyond all recognition. Been retaped after it's been crushed, which is very nice. I mean, that's the kind of attention to, to personal property that I really appreciate. Thank you, Canada Post. Of course, they might have received it in this condition and taped it all back together again. But let's see what's in the crushed box and whether it survived. This is what I want to do to the person who crushed this. Oh, I'm cutting right through the box. Isn't that nice? There's no packaging material in there at all. I'm cutting right through the box. There are no corners, so I don't know where to start. Well, let's just rip it open since it's already ripped. You can see that it's a pilot. And there's a the bubble pack. So it has been opened and stuffed back in the box. That's Canada Post doing that, Canada Customs. Thank you, they crushed my little bag from Pilot. Little tissue paper that always helps the impacts. Yeah, very nice crushed bag from Pilot. They'll let all the air out as well. So let's see what this might be. This is a Pilot something or other, and a Pilot something or other, and there it's been crushed there. So thank God it's in a box, and here it is. It is a 2017. Uh, 04 so that would be April 2017 a uh, number five well I'm intrigued 
No, I do know what this is. So this is my Pilot Prera. It's a very long box. I'm not used to this. And we have some documentation. Hi. Hello. In English. And everything else is in Japanese, of course. Uh, filling instructions, cleaning instructions. Thank you, Pilot. Very long box. I'm wondering what else they put in these boxes because the prayer is not that big. And here is the pen. Anything else in the box? Nope. And here we have the pen in its bag. And I think this would be what you call new old stock. This is the Pilot Prera. It's a nice blue color. I wanted to try out one of these for a long time. And it says Prera on the front. It has a nice clip. Comes in a number of colors. I chose this blue. Pilot Japan. And there's our classic Pilot Nib, which I'm hoping is interchangeable with other Pilot Nibs, because I got a few in mind. And this is a medium steel. And it comes with yet another wonderful Con 40. There, there's my sarcasm again. I hate this converter, but I'll probably refill cartridges instead. And it should post because it's a fairly short pen. That's actually very nice. I was wondering whether posted this would be a nice pen. Very nice. We'll give that a try. I'll clean it out and we'll put it through its paces. The Pilot Prera. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And after the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. As I said in the introduction, the Pilot Explorer is better than the Pilot Metro because it doesn't have any of the flaws of the Metro, like a narrow section with a huge, uncomfortable bump. It only accepts the horrible Con 40 converter, and the pen is back-weighted when it is posted. The Explorer also has some great features. A longer, thicker section. It accepts the larger capacity Con 70 converter. The cap edge is smooth when the pen is posted, and overall the pen has good balance when posted or unposted. And the Explorer is only $5 more expensive than the Metro, and comes in some very cool colors. Like the Metro, the Pilot can use any of this style Pilot nib. They're all interchangeable, nib and feed. And you can swap out the boring Pilot medium steel nib for these cool Pilot Plumix stub nibs that give your writing some instant, with no effort, character, and line variation. But now let's see if the Pilot Prera is any challenge to the Pilot Explorer. The first knock against the Prera comes even before looking at the pen. It's a full $33 more expensive than the Explorer and $38 more than the Metro. But let's put that aside for the moment and just look at the pen. Capped, it is a pocket-sized fountain pen, which is roughly the same size as my Pilot E95S. I had to search for this solid color Prera, and it is more common to see these as demonstrators, the transparent models with various colors of shading in the cap and end finials. There are six colors in the demonstrator version, black, blue, light blue, green, orange, and pink. The solid colors are available in black, gray, ivory, white, pink, yellow, green, blue, and light blue, and with a choice of fine, medium, or the aforementioned one millimeter stub. I bought this one on AliExpress for $39 US, which is substantially less than the usual retail price of $56 US. So the price here is still in the same ballpark as the Explorer. The pen is made from a smooth injection molded plastic. From the top we see a chrome finial that holds the very sturdy and usable chrome clip in place. The clip has a nice swoop to it in profile. The cap tapers up slightly to a chrome ring that mirrors the end finial ring, giving the pen a nice overall balance visually. The cap continues to taper up to a chrome band or ring that has some typical pilot attention to detail here. As the ring is raised and domed slightly, like the other rings on the pen, but this has a slight step down before we get to the barrel which eases that cap edge very nicely. The front of the cap is silk screened in gray paint, Prera, the model name, 
and Pilot Japan on the back. The barrel is straight to about the middle where it begins to taper away to another domed chrome ring that separates the barrel from the end finial, which is flat with a slight dome to it. The cap snaps off, and before we go any further, let me talk about this pen's capping and uncapping. It's wonderful. It's typical Pilot. One of the best features of my E95S is how silky smooth that capping and uncapping and posting process is with the Pilot E95S. The Prera has a very similar feel to it. If you're a fidgety type person, you'll satisfy your OCD by capping and uncapping this pen constantly to the annoyance of all your coworkers. Two birds, one pen. The cap comes off to reveal a tapering section made of the same plastic as the cap and barrel with another two-step ring at the top of the section. And that ring between the barrel and the section isn't obtrusive at all. Let's get a closer look at this nib. This says Pilot Super Quality Japan and brackets M for medium. And there's the plastic feed. And again, as I said before, these are friction fit in that barrel and they're very, very simple to uh, replace, to swap and replace. Uh, just squeeze on that nib and feed and pull it out and replace it with another. The section unscrews to reveal the Pilot cartridge that I've installed, but it does come with the awful con 40 converter and i'd rather sit in the dark with a pencil in my eye than use this con 40. the inside of the cap shows a plastic cap liner that seals the nib and that is the positive click you hear when you cap the pen it's this two-step ring at the end of the section that engages with that inner cap liner to make that positive click very very well designed and engineered by pilot the cap posts deeply and securely with the same kind of satisfaction that capping and uncapping brings. This end finial ring engages with the cap liner to secure the cap in place, keeping it from falling off or rotating. Very, very clever. Unposted, the pen borders on the unusable, depending on the size of your hands. But the pen was designed to be posted, just like the E95S is designed to be posted. But posted, it's a reasonable length, and it's still shorter than the Metropolitan and much, much shorter than the Explorer. In fact, the Prera is only slightly longer posted than the Explorer is unposted. Posted, the Prera is very comfortable, very well balanced, and is a lot of fun to write with. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Pilot Prera with a Pilot Metropolitan, a Pilot Explorer, a Pilot Kukuno with a Caveco Sport Clip, and the Caveco Sport I stole the clip from. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see that the Explorer is the longest of the group and surprisingly, the Kukuno is almost as long as the Explorer. The shortest of course is the Caveco Sport, but not that much shorter than the Prera is posted. And there is the hard no for me with the Pilot Metropolitan. That bump right there makes it unusable. The second part of the no is this narrow neck section right here. It's a much healthier section here and here, on, actually on all of these pens, than the Metro. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. Actually, this is an unfair comparison because the Prera and the Caveco Sport are not designed to be written with unposted, where these other three pens can be written with unposted. Now let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper. And this is the Pilot Pereira. And it has a medium steel nib. Let's check the wetness. Well, this is a very, very dry nib. And part of this is the ink, I think, as well, which is the Pilot Cartridge Blue.
it is a washed out pale color with no pop or pizzazz that's a technical term pizzazz it reminds me of those ditto copies we used to have in grade school the teacher would grab a stack of ditto papers and drop them on the desk at the front row and they'd be passed back everyone would immediately smell the paper as it was heavy with the alcohol smell from the ditto machine Ah, what a great memory but that pale blue print on the page was this washed out pale blue the nib is very very smooth very smooth what you'd expect from pilot it's pilot smooth and there's little to no variation or character in the line at all it's relatively stiff and the line this nib makes both vertically and horizontally is 0 0.5 millimeters which makes it a western fine or a Japanese fine to medium as you'd expect and for our quote and for some reverse writing it's a lot more scratchy and dry than actually you can get some lines out of it and for some quick writing Yeah, this is where this pen really excels in speed and how quickly that ink dries it's almost like a ballpoint that way so what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen and more importantly does the Prera replace the Explorer as my recommended entry-level fountain pen let's cut to the chase no the Prera is not a replacement for my recommended Explorer but let's talk about what's great about the Prera first this is a good looking extremely well designed and well built fountain pen pilot just leads the world in quality design and manufacturing of pens they aren't the biggest and the best without reason every part and feature of this Prera is deeply thought out designed and engineered from the superb capping and nib sealing mechanism to the balance when it is posted to the subtle round and slightly proud rings there are six of them on this pen the injection molded plastic is very smooth and almost soft to the touch and there's no signs of injection molding seams or gates anywhere on this fountain pen just take a look at the section on a 180 dollars platinum 3776 and you'll see what an injection molding seam looks like it is a small pen that will fit in your pocket or your purse easily and the clip is practical but also very good looking but most of all the prayer is just a fun fast writing fountain pen this pen is a no-brainer for an everyday carry knockabout fountain pen it's quick on the page light in the hand comfortable for long writing and note-taking sessions and with a pilot blue cartridge the ink is as quick drying as a ballpoint with the same boring line and color perfect for the office or the classroom no one will know how great this pen is but you so they won't borrow it my pen my pen my pen and there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and please look in the description for a link to gold spot pens as i'm now an affiliate of the online store and when you shop at gold spot using my link you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you and you can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis badges and sneak peek unboxing videos as well and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching
watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.